What's going on everybody, Jimpy Zayo here back with another video. Uh, in this video, I do want to go ahead and do a little fast forwarding. I did do some video polls of Dragon Ball Z cards and I did not put them up. Uh, unfortunately, what I really did was uh, expedite the Sky Legends Pokemon Japanese booster box. I ended up just recording that video and putting it out as fast as possible. So on the screen, you guys will start seeing my polls from the beginning of May to now. You guys are seeing every single Dragon Ball Z card that I pulled after the Mega Pull video. Technically guys, this is a Mega Pull for the Dragon Ball Z Super Card Game. I really love the cards. I really love the details of the cards. Uh, these are only the cards that I pulled. It's not all the cards that I have. If you guys do want to see a collection update video for the Dragon Ball Z Super cards, let me know in the comments below. These videos are not necessarily temp uh, permanent. It's going to be a little bit temporary. I just want to do like slight intermission so it's not all toy hunts. A couple of you guys did point that out that you did enjoy the fact that it's kind of like a little break in between toy hunts. Eventually for a channel at least, you know, especially content creators, we get kind of burnt out from doing the same exact videos. I am going to be slowing down on cards but I do want to just kind of push out the content that I already recorded so I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy it these videos are extremely fast i'm sorry that you guys cannot see most of the cards let's try to get to 70 likes once again i'm trying to hit that 70 lucky number 70 uh unfortunately my last poll video only hit about 40 for the sky legends as well as um a lot of my videos lately have been pushing down on uh, de decreases on likes so if you guys can just make sure to try to get this video to 70 likes and i will continue to do so anyways guys let's go ahead and get this video started What's going on, everyone? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a little commentary in between. Uh, I'm sorry that it's super duper fast, but uh, as you guys can see, I'm just kind of showing you guys my polls. Um, the other cards, yeah, if you guys really want to understand the game, just let me know, and I guess I can uh, do a little tutorial on it. But for the most part, uh, obviously the the rare cards in the very back. Uh, there's about four, four, three to four different type of rares. Uh, you have a chance of getting a reverse hollow, which is the second last card, and it's usually like a uncommon or a common. Then it's uh, then a rare, which is an R, in the bottom right. Uh, I think I do show it throughout this video, but uh, yeah, rares. And then after the rares are super rares, which is SRs. Those are usually the ones that have a little bit more uh, detail in it. Um, as you can see right there, I just pulled a rare from the Vegeta. Uh, but uh, after the super rares, there is the super special or special rares, which is SPRs. Those are actually considered like the hardest cards to pull in the set. But in addition to that, there's actually the secret rares. And the secret rares are the super, super hard cards to pull. As you can see right there, I actually just pulled a super rare card. And you can see the difference in, in, the, in the hologram on it, or the hollow of it. It's a hollow, but it also has an additional like look on it, uh, where it has engravings of hollow. I do apologize about the glare as well, guys. I was really not paying attention to the glare as much as I thought I did. Um, unfortunately, my camera is literally in front of my face, so it's very difficult for me to uh, pay attention. Um, but anyways, as you saw in that last one, there was an uncommon hollow and, uh, and a rare hollow in the back of it. So you have that possibility. Um, right here, guys, I ended up buying more packs of Cross World. Um, I think I was actually looking for the secret rare Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And that one's an extremely hard to card to, card to find in general. But in addition to that, I, I'm, just, I'm looking for a couple more cards, mostly the super rares and stuff like that. The Dragon Ball Super card game is actually fairly new. It's about 2017 is when it kind of started, I think. And um, to be honest with you, I think that uh, as the packs, actually, as they came out with new packs, it progressively got better. So the very first packs, they only came with super rares, and the super rares were considered the hard cards to get. And then as... A couple packs came out it became special rares that were hard to get and then eventually it became uh, secret rares which the secret rare game is pretty interesting um, let's say that much uh, the very new pack is actually coming out with a brawly secret rare that I'm dying to have and uh, um, apparently they're coming out with a new wave of cards already so I'm super excited to kind of be in a part of the release date for that so then I'm pulling cards just at the same time as other people that are excited for it um, these cross world um, Cards are, or these packs in general are kind of, kind of easy to pull stuff like that. But at the same time, it's pretty difficult as well. As you saw just now, uh, I pulled out that Super Saiyan three uh, Sun Goku. I really, really like these cards. Um, and yes, guys, I was just showing you guys a little clip of me showing you that I got another gift box. Uh, these gift boxes are extremely cheap for how many booster packs they give you. I mean, they give you six booster packs for thirteen bucks, and I mean that's basically two dollars and 
change for a uh, third pack you know and it comes with that big box where you can put all your uh bulk cards which basically your common cards the ones that i'm, I'm like kind of just throwing to the side right here and that's right here guys this is a super rare piccolo um he's obviously from dragon ball he looks amazing guys that freaking uh, i just love these cards man like i love pokemon a lot but to be honest with you the pokemon cards kind of got look kind of start looking basic to me see this is a reverse foil um it's reverse rare or reverse hollow then uh, here goes a rare so the rares are usually like shatter foil so you can kind of see like in a sense it look like little diamond shapes foils sh shiny foils around it um but going back to the pokemon cards it's extremely basic looking to me now and obviously the ex cards are phenomenal because it's the full card that's designed but uh, the dragon ball z cards it goes all through and i just love that concept um, I've been learning how to play the game as well, and it's it's amazing. Oh, here come here it goes. That's another card that I'm talking about. That's a uh, super rare Goku, uh, Goku su Super Saiyan 4 super rare. And unfortunately, uh, I haven't really pulled much special rares lately, but that super rare card is phenomenal. Um, I'm looking for the secret rare in, in this pack. So, but here goes another foil card. You can kind of see the foilness, and I'm showing you guys the little um, all right there. Yeah, that's that's rare. Um, but yeah, just like oh, the full art and all these cards are just phenomenal. The game is it's extremely fun, guys. Um, just learning how to understand the energies and stuff like that. So the top left is how many energies it would take to to summon the card. So just put that in mind. And uh, each card can be considered an energy. So uh, each time you start your turn, you have to draw a card. And then one of the cards in your hand, you have to uh, charge your energy section so it's pretty cool it's pretty interesting uh, and this thing is actually a tournament pack it like you have a chance of four cards i think per per wave so i didn't really know what i was going to get but uh, this card i got was pretty dope i love this card it's vegito i think it's no it's goku right it's goku um in his little training outfit but these cards right here that i'm showing you is actually some cards that i picked up from prodigy games uh, if you guys saw my hunt I uh, ended up picking up all these cards for 10 bucks in total. So, I mean, a lot of cards don't hold value. That's the one thing that's bad about the game. But then also, more cards, some cards can hold a lot of value. So, the new Brawly Secret Rare is what, going for $300 right now. And that's honestly the most a card's ever been. Besides the Goku, the, the Ultra Instinct Goku from the very, very elusive tor uh, Tournament of Power Booster Box. Those booster boxes right now are going for... $300 and it's a one in six chance of you getting a secret rare so each case comes with six booster boxes and um, it has a chance of a secret rare in each of them or a secret rare in one of them so that's a very very rare chance and I think that they had a very low quantity um, in addition to that in, in addition to that secret rare there's actually a um, four three or four signature cards of uh, Vegeta Goku uh, Beerus, I think it's Frieza, and it's pretty sick because it's it's the signatures of the voice actors. So I know Vegeta for sure is uh, Chris Sabat, I think his name is, um, and I've seen him in person. I've, I've actually like literally talked to him. It's, he's a very cool guy. Uh, I saw him at NYCC uh, for I, I saw him at the over nine thousand booth. He's a very cool guy, uh, very nice, and uh, he did do imitations of Vegeta, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, guys, um, these cards. For the most part, don't really hold much value unless it's a very good card in, in in game. I do have a couple cards right now that are worth about fifty bucks, but you know, I'm in it for the for the the collecting. To be honest with you, and I want to learn how to play the game. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys are local and you want to try to play the game, because I would definitely meet up with anybody. Really. All right, guys. Uh, now I'm just showing off all the cards that I got. Um, it's a mixture between. Just the reverse hollows, the rares, the super rares. Um, unfortunately, I did not pull any special rares, but uh, as you can see, the, the freaking details on these cards are phenomenal. Um, I, I don't know. I think cards are just fun because of the pull rates, the hype. The, you, you just get a certain excitement for pulling a certain card. And for the most part, I just, I don't know, I just enjoy the way that they look. Um, I remember having a, just literally like a deck of cards that you play like, you know, fish like was it seven up not seven up but like 21 cards and stuff with and there were dragon ball z designs on it so like 
I don't know. I just love it. Right here, guys, I'm just showing you guys kind of like the promotional cards that comes with. Uh, this is the promotional cards that came with that little uh, expansion pack that I had. So. Alrighty, guys, that will be all for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this crazy mega card pull video. I know that a lot of you guys like my commentary, but I, I rushed out these videos. I just pulled as much as I could and kind of just waited to the right moment to kind of upload this this style of video so i really hope you guys uh, can understand that and uh, if you guys did like this video make sure to like comment share and subscribe if you guys are new once again let's try to get this video to 70 likes if you can do that that'd be pretty dang awesome and if you guys want to see an update on my collection in terms of dragon ball super cards as well as my pokemon cards uh, let me know in the comments below there is a lot of good really good cards that i pulled for dragon ball and really really very good cards that i got for pokemon unfortunately it just didn't make it onto video but anyways guys zeo nation zeo gang thank you again for coming back thank you everyone else for coming back and watching the video thank you for subscribing i really appreciate every single one of you guys make sure to get your figs up budgets down i'll catch you guys in the next video later